Hey YouTube, how's it going? Uh, Stand Up Saturdays here for everybody. This time I'm going to feature the Great Nature deck update and I'm also going to feature this deck. It's more of a budget build for Royals so don't expect it to be like super over the top amazing but I'll show you guys a budget build that you guys probably can make from spares and I think like 12-15 bucks would be the makeup that you would need for it. So we'll go over that. First we're going to go over the Great Nature deck and I'm going to... I mean it was pretty much the same as it was before. Because I still haven't gotten the critical lineup I want. Or the trigger lineup I should say. But it's mostly because of the criticals. That's why it still has stands in it. No one seems to have criticals for what I need for this. So it runs stands still. Like I said I bought the deck like that. And Walmart doesn't sell this pack. So four perfects. Then we got these guys in finally. The Monoculus Tigers. Still trying these out for right now until we get more otters. Then whenever I get more otters, I'll use four of those. And probably two of the Great Silver Wolf or whatever it is, the 8K Vanillas. Three of Mr. Panda. Sorry about the angle. Four Tiger. And then we have these guys because we don't have the Lion out yet, the 11K guy. So with that, you have to compensate now for the... Grade 3, Grade 4 lineup to the Grade 4s, which these guys will become apps. And I know people think that this card isn't that great, but his skill allows you to retire one of your Great Nature Rear Guards, and whenever it hits, basically it's a built in stand trigger. So you sack off one of your dudes and then get another swing at your opponent. So I think it's alright. I mean, given what we have for English Great Nature. That's probably the way to go since the grade 4 will be gone. Then four Leopolds. And then two of our Executioner clones, the Crocodile. Okay, so that is the updated Great Nature deck. I still need the criticals for it. And then it'll be complete. Okay, now this is more so... Sorry about the glare the Puppy Royal Paladin deck and I'm gonna edit here and put it in the description that's split in two parts because I mainly wanted to feature the Great Nature deck but I'm gonna also feature these guys upcoming next so if you guys just want to see the Great Nature deck and not see the budget Royal Paladins you can cut here and that's the end of the video if not then stay tuned for the budget Puppy Paladins be back in a moment Alright guys, and we're back. Remember, this is the budget Puppy Paladin build, as it's referred to, so we'll go over it. Just a quick note, this video will probably be up Sunday because most of the time Saturday is spent with my fiancé, so it is still counted as a stand-up Saturdays. So anyway, we have Bruegel. I know a lot of people are using the ride chain for Galahad and that's perfectly fine in fact I'd probably suggest that build over something like this but I don't know if I have all the pieces to build that accordingly so I'm going with what I have so we got uh, Burgle and then we have a crit I mean it's a crit for draw for heal it's pretty basic because I only own one future knight Lou I figure consistency would be best for this. Then we have the main part of the deck, the Snowgulls. We have our EK Vanillas. These will be perfect guards. Uh, Toy Pugel in this build doesn't do a whole lot. I mean, it's it can swing 21 rows with my highest, or however you say his name, the Executioner clone, but outside of that, 
I'm not really a fan of him in this kind of build, especially since I don't own any Palamedes. Okay, so now we have two Lake Maiden for the discard draw engine, which helps you get rid of your junk. Then we have three Akane. Four Gallatin. Uh, before anyone asks, this is from the Flash deck. The Flash decks were part of a trade. So I'm using the alternate artwork. Then we have four Beast Knight Garmore. Then this is a guy who was talking about the twins, uh, Twin Shine Swordsman. That's a mouthful to say. Mar Haas, I guess is how you say it. Anyway, so he can still crash in for, you know, 12 on his own plus an 8k boost. So Torpugel or Marin are sufficient, and there's four of him. And then finally, Fan of Light Garmore. There's four of this. That's the uh, secondary deck profile. I hope you guys enjoyed the stand-up Saturdays. It wasn't really climactic. I really wanted to have a card fight for you guys. So what I'm doing is I'm going to film one for everybody Tuesday or do like two or three card fights on Tuesday and give you guys that kind of footage. So I hope you enjoy that. All right, until then, keep fighting card fighters. Peace out and have a good one. Later, YouTube.